Welcome back to Data Sciency. Today, we're diving into Microsoft's latest breakthrough in material science, MatterGen. It's a revolutionary AI tool that's redefining how we discover new materials. I'll tell you all about this AI tool, so stay tuned until the end so that you don't miss any information regarding it. So let's get right into it. So materials discovery is the key to solving some of the humanity's biggest challenges. Think about it. The lithium ion batteries that power up our phones and electric cars, advanced solar cells that promise the cleaner energy, and also some innovative materials that could even help us recycle carbon dioxide. But finding these materials, it's like searching for a needle in a haystack. It's a slow, expensive, and complex process. Even for decades, researchers have relied on experiments and more recently, the computational screening of huge databases. Yet even with these advances, discovering new materials remain time intensive. That's where MatterGen comes in, flipping the script entirely. This AI tool, MatterGen, is made by Microsoft. And this is the tool that does not just screen materials, it actually creates them. So this groundbreaking tool, it actually uses a diffusion model specifically designed for the 3D geometry of the materials. Imagine an AI that can engineer the entirely new compounds according to your requirements from mechanical strength to magnetic properties. Sounds amazing, right? So it's happening now. Unlike traditional methods that sift through known materials, MatterGen actually starts from scratch. Imagine it's like asking an AI to design a new car instead of choosing one from a catalog. So what MatterGen does? So this model is trained using over 608,000 stable materials, which is compiled from the Materials Project and Alexandria databases. So even in the comparison below also, you can see how Metagen, this green line is Metagen. It outperformed the traditional screening methods in generating the novel materials with specific properties. And here you can see this is the old method, the screening method. Even Metagen, it generates the compound, which is tailored to specific needs, whether it's hardness, elasticity, or conductivity. For example, if you ask an AI that I want this compound, can you make a compound for me that has this much thickness? It has like it melts at this much temperature. It has this, 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 this properties. So material gen will create it for you. And there's another proof that this AI model works. So Microsoft, what they did, they collaborated with the researchers at Shenzhen Institute of Advanced Technology, which is part of the Chinese Academy of Sciences to experimentally synthesize a novel material designed by the AI. The material was TACR206. So this was generated by Matterchen to meet a bulk modulus target of 200 gigapascal. Now, while the experiment result, it fell slightly short of the target. So it measured a modulus of 169 GPA, means the gigapascal. The error was just 20% and the accuracy was 80%. Interestingly, the final material exhibited the computational disorder between the TA and CR atoms, but its structure, it aligned closely with the model's prediction. So if this level of predictive accuracy can be translated to other domains, so metagen could have the impact on material designs for batteries, fuel cells, magnets, and more. And even here's the video, in which you can see that material, even here is a video in which you can see the Matterjen model. It represents the paradigm shift in materials design, in which it's applying generative AI to create new compounds with specific properties and with the precision also. So here you can see the material gen is trying to closely align and you can see make the material stable. So it's trying to design in such a way that the material is online and it's uh, stable. So this is the material which it has created, Matterjen has created. Even one of Matterjen's innovation is tackling the compositional disorder. Okay, so this is a common challenge. The compositional disorder is a challenge where atoms swap places randomly in a material structure. So 
Microsoft advanced algorithms they account for them in which it provides the more reliable definitions of novelty and uniqueness and even in another blog of Matergen by Microsoft here it says that they also partnered with Mattersim so Mattergen isn't working alone so it's part of a deal with Mattersim so Mattersim let me show you here so Mattersim is actually a deep learning model for materials under real world conditions. This is a deep learning model for materials under real world conditions. So Mattergen with Mattersim, this tool Mattersim, what it will do, it will accelerate the material property simulation. Together, they form a flywheel of discovery, generating and testing materials faster than ever before. And the best part, Microsoft has made Matergen source code available under an MIT license. Researchers and developers worldwide can build on this foundation, pushing the boundaries of material science even further. In conclusion, I would say that from renewable energy to advanced electronics, Matergen could revolutionize industries. It's not just about discovering new materials. It's about unlocking new possibilities for our world. Thank you for tuning in to Data Sciencey. Want to learn more? Check out the links in the description. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comments below. Bye-bye.